come to the Orioles Old National Park. Just a little handheld one. They're watching these and stuff. I told her it was like a, you know, it was a, she said it was a three year old year on difficulty. We just kind of came straight up this. It's like a couple hundred feet of straight elevation. And I told her just to keep going, just keep going. Because this is your view. So you like it is what you said? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Tried to stop. Just tried to stop like right down there. It's like, no, get up to this. Get up to this spot right here. I wasn't gonna stop. Wow. I was just pacing. Well, it is Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning, the 7th. We uh, start out the morning with a four mile hike. I underestimated and forgot how kind of long that one can be. Uh, I was like, oh yeah, it's gonna be like an hour. And then on the sign down there, it does say three hours. It's a lot of elevation, but it was beautiful. Um, super nice to get it in the morning. You got to see some buffalo, which were really cool. Really close, right at the gate, right when we got in. And uh, so we did that, and then since our plans kind of changed last night to go to South Dakota, we, uh, we, we decided to go at like noon today. It is one. We were like, well, let's get up, hike, have some breakfast, and we'll go to about noon. And my buddy and his group was gonna be going there uh, at eight. Well, I'll talk to them while we're making breakfast. They didn't leave till 11 like two hours ago so we're like, okay cool we were just eating breakfast and stuff so we got showered up kind of repacked and situated here with what we're taking and yeah we're pretty much ready to go five hour trip down to south dakota for a little bit of rock climbing and then right back here to the cabin quick little trip but it's a good time to hang out with my friends who are newly engaged and soon to be married and kansas and him too That's a lot of light. Got some uh, Gatorades. There's mine. Oh, there it is. You're an hour down, four and a half to go. Yeah. <laughs> 
packed up and headed to South Dakota. So we drove across uh, the prairie land. I slept, she drove. Very much thinking of Lewis and Clark and maybe listening to some podcasts of them, of course. And then we wound up in... We didn't wind up. Wow. We drove to around the Rushmore, yeah. Rushmore area. Oh, we did. We didn't think we were going to be going past it. Yeah. Is well, it? I kind of had a feeling, but I didn't really be, like yeah. see it. Yeah. Like, right there. Yeah. I mean, we need to go to the actual it, park, and you can just drive by it. It's yeah. the same thing. Yep. So, Literally, that's that pretty, was cool. Pretty sick. Well, yeah, I only saw that once yeah. before. And now we're camping for a couple of nights. You're gonna go mm-hmm. rock climbing with friends tomorrow. Yeah, we're right behind Mount Rushmore. Uh, wrinkled. Wrinkle Rock? Wrinkled Rock. Something like Wrinkle that. something. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. That. <laughs> I'll write it down in the yeah. uh, subtitles. But yeah, we're gonna, we got here. Um, they were also climbing. Uh, they left a little later this morning too, but we got here and we're like, okay, we had planned to make dinner. So we made dinner and got it kind of going. Then got to set up our tent and everything. And mm-hmm. yeah, now we're just hanging out with them for the whole next day before we go back. The drive here was pretty... Pretty awesome. Well, for the first like two hours, it was not. I found it beautiful. Oh, she loved it still. I it was like just, flat so and nothing. It's so than Wisconsin. Yeah. So it was the novelty and... Yeah. And then... And then I got to drive... Through. Big rainstorm through Rapid City that I got to drive through. That was pretty... That was pretty fun. Yeah. And... Yeah. That yeah. Rapid City is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. That was pretty nice. A lot of neat shops and things. And mm-hmm. But the hike this morning was pretty awesome too. All before yeah. coffee, I might add. Tomorrow morning, wake up and do some rock climbing. Stay tuned. Yeah. I didn't even use this one. I know, I was looking for it. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, babe.
does go up, they've got one. That's two designated. You can't touch the silicone part? No, don't touch the silicone part. I found that. For best results, add a quarter cup cold water where you yeah. provide a fill line. Yeah, that's not usually what I do. Like, oh, and then, and then microwave. microwave. No. Well, okay. not just silly gooses. Mm -hmm. No, it's efficiency. We're all about efficiency. Time to go climb, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I'm wearing the hat. Just for funsies. <laughs> So, we got to climb a little bit, and it took a little longer than we thought, you know. We, um, a little rusty, at least I was definitely rusty. And Kansas was a little bit, a little shook up there too. So Les kind of had to lead our stuff for us and set us up. Um, so we got back just now, a little bit ago, it's <laughs> three o'clock. Got back at like 2.30, and I've been trying to charge my battery I forgot my cord for the actual car charger. Like half of it goes for the solar and like the other half just stays in here with the cigarette plug. Anyway, so I didn't have that. So I bought an inverter at Walmart. <sighs> Tried the inverter and the cigarette outlet and it blew, first off it blew the cigarette, the plug on the inverter immediately. Swapped that out for a heavier, heavy, heavier duty one. No, not a higher amp one, just a heavier duty uh, one that just works better, which I already swapped out some other stuff, so I had some extra ones. Well, then it blew the truck fuse. It's a 20 amp fuse. So I had a 20 amp fuse, I replaced it, and I said, well, I don't want to blow that again. But the inverter that I got came with uh, the battery clamps, you know. And so I was like, okay, I have two batteries. I'm gonna clamp it to the battery and see if it works. So now it's it's running at 400 watts, full capacity, what's supposed to, and the battery's taking it all in, 400 watts. So just like you were plugged into a house. Cool beans. It's just you have to leave it plugged in the end, so I can't do it while driving unless I had to somehow route the cable through and stuff. And I'm not. I guess I need to have it portable. Anyway, random camping thingy majibis to talk about. So. We're gonna hang out, eat some food for a little bit, and then go for a hike later and just enjoy this area while we can. And we leave in the morning. Well, like afternoon tomorrow.
Hey, you did it. Look at you. Yeah. Look how high up. Yeah. Well, point at it and look all cool. Yeah, like we're gonna go climb it, you know? We're like picking out the route there. <laughs> like yeah. Lewis and Clark. Modern yeah. day Lewis and Clark. Yeah. What's yeah. funny is you can see our tents in the background. Oh, that is super cool. Super, huh? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. So I thought I was gonna sleep in a hammock last night, but about 10 o'clock we went to bed and about midnight started cracking off thunder and the wind started picking up. So we uh well yeah Wes I mean Wes is out here in his hammock too. So we quickly <laughs> jumped in the tents. <laughs> Luckily we had our stuff still set up and I still had my sleeping set then with Corey and he jumped in with Kansas and uh yeah, it rained pretty good, pretty hard for uh, two hours or so. But um, we're getting packed up now and uh, gonna have some coffee. up in South Dakota. We just stopped at this coffee shop, Sturgis Coffee Company. It's pretty sick. Really cool inside. It's neat stuff to do their own coffee. We grab some of course. And now we're heading to Medora to meet up with some friends. 